As you know, the Trump administration's been plagued by leakers, Obama holdovers still working in the White House, or deep state operatives determined to derail the Trump train. But what goes around comes around, and it looks like now there's a leaker inside Google who's giving information to Breitbart and the Daily Caller. Hopefully you saw the previous leaked video from inside Google's TGIF meeting, which took place a few days after the 2016 election, which showed all of the executives just complaining and in shock the whole time. I certainly find the selection uh, deeply offensive, and I know many of you do too. And now the Daily Caller has just published some internal chats about another Google meeting, where someone gave a presentation about a new product or service they're working on, and was proud that it was family friendly. But that didn't go over very well with dozens and dozens of Google employees, one of which took to the internal messaging board and wrote this. This is a diminishing and disrespectful way to speak. If you mean children, think children. We have a perfectly good word for it. Family friendly used as a synonym for kid friendly means to me, you and yours don't count as a family unless you have children. The use of family as a synonym for with children has a long-standing association with deeply homophobic organizations. This does not mean we should not use the word family to refer to families, but it means that we should doggedly insist that family does not imply children. Use the word family to mean a loving assemblage of people who may or may not live together and may or may not include people of any particular age. Stop using it to mean children. It's offensive, inappropriate, homophobic, and wrong. This Google employee is literally upset that the phrase family friendly refers to a mother and a father and children because that's just not inclusive enough. Let me translate that liberalism for you in case you didn't understand that nonsense. This employee is literally upset that the phrase family friendly refers to a man and a woman and their children because that's homophobic. And before you say that this was just one random unhinged employee, this post was thumbed up by a hundred other employees and here's some of the responses to it. Thanks for writing this so much, yes. Using the word family in this sense bothers me too. Here's the best one. It smacks of the family values agenda by the right wing, which is absolutely homophobic by its very definition. It's important that we fix our charged language when we become aware of how exclusionary it actually is. As a straight person in a relationship, I find the term family offensive because it excludes me and my boyfriend having no children of our own. I'm sorry, but you're a couple. You're not a family until you have some kids, you lunatics. And your cats don't count, by the way. The Daily Caller did a great article detailing this madness, and thankfully Donald Trump Jr. tweeted it out, adding, quote, The liberal BS never ends. Now they're attacking families. You're right, Donald, it never does end. In fact, Google's vice president, Panvi Jawanji, joined the conversation and said this. Hi, everyone. I realized that what we said at TGIF, the name of the meeting, might have caused concerns in a way we talked about families. There are families without kids, too. And we also need to be more conscientious about the fact that there is a diverse makeup of parents, and families. Please help us get to a better state. Teach us to talk about it in an inclusive way if you feel like we're not doing it well. As a team, we have a very inclusive culture and want to do it right in this area. I'm adding my team here so we can have an open conversation. Google's vice president is literally apologizing for the company talking about family-friendly content and referring to a Mother and a father and children. And if that's not Orwellian enough for you, this will surely take the cake. A Twitter account called The Free Press tweeted out that, quote, hateful conspiracy theorist Alex Jones is back on Facebook just a few months after the site kicked him off. Urge Facebook to ban him permanently. I guess what they're talking about is some of the hosts on his network still have their personal pages and are posting videos of their shows or other clips from the shows. And so now the, quote, free press is encouraging people to get Facebook to ban them too. 
The bio on this Twitter account literally reads, we're a nonpartisan organization fighting for your rights to connect and communicate. And no, this is not a parody account. This is real. I mean, what's next? Is the mainstream media gonna say that women should grow out their armpit hair and dye it rainbow colors? Oh wait, what's this? Unicorn armpit hair is the best beauty trend of 2019? To help raise awareness of this zombie apocalypse and support my channel at the same time, I hope you'll go to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and order one of my liberalism find a cure t-shirts, long sleeves, or hoodies. Available in a whole bunch of different colors and styles. So head on over to markdash.com or click the link in the description below and check out the awesome selection over there. Your support helps keep this channel going, so thanks again for your support.